Still sane, Doctor? Dark Knight's memoir has done a rerun of its event, and I would like to look at the gameplay mechanics that were introduced in this uh, event. And a side mention should be put out there that it seems that both W and Wheaties banner characters as well as Phantom's characters got increased trust in this event instead of just Phantom. So looking at the gameplay mechanics of this event, there are two major ones that I would like to look at. The first one is the original jet stream, which basically makes it so that depending on what direction your operators are facing, they will gain increased or decreased damage, as well as enemies if they're facing or moving away from the jet streams, they will get increased or decreased movement speed. So let's take a clip of that. So besides the jet stream, another mechanic that this event introduced was the idea of killing enemies that were very difficult one by one, and you needed to avoid hitting and dealing damage to the sentinel enemies. With taking a look into the enemy intelligence, the sentinels will increase the attack and defense of all enemy units on the field. It is very important though that it is on the field, so if you activate or damage one of these sentinels, that new enemies coming in won't get that buff unless they were already on the field when you damage them. But it is important to note that if you damage one of these, you will wake up the Sarkez uh, grudge bears and the blade weavers and both of these guys deal super high arts damage so because their arts damage unless you're using night nightingale or some other operator that has a lot of res to tank them they can do a lot of damage to your operators quickly so because of that uh, one of these sentinels will be present on the field and you have to keep in mind spl your splash radius of your operators or just attack ranges in general just to make sure that you don't accidentally hit one of these sentinels uh, before you want to deal with the the other two enemies that I mentioned. So here is a clip of that for an example. So looking at the EX stages, there is also another enemy worth noting. The Sarkaz Caster made its return uh, chaining and paralyzing allied operators. These guys were mainly in episode 3 of the main story. And then on top of that, they introduced the Sarkaz Lancer which makes it so that on the first hit that uh, one of these guys does, does massive damage based on their movement speed. So keep in mind how fast they're moving and or have someone to tank their first hit. So, so yeah, and then there's the harder versions of them. So, with all of that, Dark Knight's memoir doesn't really have a specific boss. Pretty much, your the bosses that you were meant to fight were the Grudge Bears and the Blade Weavers in there. And interestingly enough, 
Dark Knight Dark Knight's memoir is one of those events that has a mini annihilation stage, which has 200 enemies to defeat and a large amount of variation in the enemy types. And as far as I know, this is the only place to fight the Sarcas Caster leader for some reason. And even after doing this event the first time, it still doesn't give me credit for actually fighting these. So just a small pet peeve of mine. But as you can see here, it has the normal versions and the harder versions that you fight later on. Which I am really surprised that you don't fight W in this. But overall, Dark Knight's Memoir, I thought, was a really good event. Not only for the lore of finding out uh, W's backstory as well as the characters associated with W before she was released on the first year anniversary of the game. On top of that, the gameplay aspects of it, it made it so that it has that stealth-ish gameplay, or at the very least, you have to try to fight those really hard enemies one by one by one. The Originum jet streams, though, I think probably had a lot more impact on the contingency contract version of, well, the stage for contingency contract that was based off of this event probably had more impact. But since it's a rerun, I didn't actually need to redo any of the stages except for the EX6 stage on challenge mode, I think it was, because for the hit list you just needed to do all of the stages one more time except for the some of the challenge modes and that's it. Um, so I just did <laughs> um, one auto deploy on these that it, sa it even saved the EX stage uh, normal clears for me and I didn't actually pay attention to how difficult these were. Um, and then on top of that, because it's a rerun, the amount of resources that you would get from this event uh, was significantly lowered, but the event only lasts a, I think it was a week or so, or a week and a half instead of the full two weeks that the event originally did. So for an example, the Poller memorization preparation you only get like one of those instead of five and then for the uh, LMD maybe like a hundred thousand or fifty thousand instead of five hundred thousand so it was significantly less uh, just to get through the the store as as quickly as possible like if you did the hit list you pretty much got like 80 percent or so of the of the event store and then with the risk of sanity, it was pretty easy to fill out the rest of this. So yeah, this event was definitely one of those that I really enjoyed, and I'm glad that they brought it back. Uh, my opinion of reruns is that I'm really happy to see reruns, actually, because not only for nostalgia value, but it also allows newer players to see uh, this content, which they might not be able to before. Uh, since the update on um, on the CN server hasn't come to global server yet, uh, I think they had something where you could still go through the each event stage, but you couldn't get any resources or anything, but you could do it for like the first clear as well as the lore or something. I'm not entirely sure. We'll see when that comes to global. Um, Maybe maybe I'm confusing something, but in some ways, because it's a shorter duration, I'm actually kind of glad that the event the event store is not as much. Just because of that, I, I'm glad that they're focusing on creating new content instead of just doing reruns all the time. Although, I will admit that I am really happy for a rerun if there's like no event for a week or two like if there's a break week or two like these reruns are pretty easy to really fill out the 
event store, like, pretty much, I was able to finish it within three or four days. Um, and it is worth noting that even though that it is a rerun, there is still the increased drop rate of these. And whatever... And whatever the stages drop. So, I mean, you can still farm up and resupply specific supplies that you need. So, with that, I thoroughly enjoyed this. Although, I might need to look at the, the storyline again for, for a few things. But, uh, with that being said, though, thank you very much for watching and have a wonderful day.